everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for first and second of may 2022 let's start who are the beneficiaries of prime minister swanidhi scheme so the cabinet committee on economic affairs has approved the continuation of pm swanidhi scheme till december 2024 okay and what does swanidhi stands for it is street vendors atmanirbhar nidhi okay so through this scheme affordable collateral free loans are given to the street vendors and the scheme aim to facilitate loans for an amount of 5000 crore rupees while the recent approval has increased the loan amount to 8100 crore rupees fine right? now let's see some of the important questions punjab government recently signed a knowledge sharing agreement with which state or union territory so delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal and his punjab counterpart bhagwant singh man have signed a knowledge sharing agreement and as a part of the agreement 117 schools and mohalla clinics will be developed in punjab and with this punjab can learn from delhi in the fields of education health and power while delhi can learn from punjab about the agriculture okay so correct answer would be new delhi Koar hydroelectric project which was seen in the news recently is located in which state or the union territory so cabinet committee on economic affairs has approved the investment of 4526 crore rupees for the 540 megawatt koar hydroelectric project and it is located on the chenab river in the union territory of jammu and kashmir kishtwar district fine so the koar hydropower project will be implemented by the chenab valley power project private limited which is a joint venture company between nhpc limited and jammu and kashmir state power development corporation okay which of the following states of india has the largest percentage of geographical area under forest as per the report of the forest survey of india answer is mizoram and then mizoram is followed by arunachal pradesh meghalaya then manipur and then nagaland okay so ministry of environment forest and climate change has released the state of forest report 2021 recently recently means in the month of february i think and in this the highest increase in forest has been seen in the state of andhra pradesh and then in odisha and the states that have not performed good are manipur arunachal pradesh nagaland and meghalaya okay so which are the states with the highest forest cover still it is madhya pradesh then it is followed by arunachal pradesh then chatisgarh then odisha and then maharashtra fine which state of india is leading in the solar energy generation already we have talked about it this state is rajasthan then rajasthan was followed by karnataka and then andhra pradesh okay and together all these three states accounts for 50% of the total solar energy generation in india fine next question india has recently opened its new mission in which european country so the union cabinet has approved a proposal to open a new indian mission in lithuania in 
टू वाई टू डीपन द पोलिटिकल रिलेशन एंड द स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉपरेशन एंड इनेबल द ग्रोथ ऑफ बाइलेटरल ट्रेड विद दिस बाल्टिक कंट्री एंड द डिसीजन टू ओपन एन एम्बेसी इन लिथुआनिया इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट्स परस्यूट ऑफ इट्स नेशनल प्रियोरिटी ऑफ ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट और यू कैन से सबका साथ सबका विकास इनिशिएटिव एंड इंडिया डिप्लोमेटिक प्रेजेंस इन लिथुआनिया विल प्रोवाइड मार्केट एक्सेस फॉर द कंपनीज एंड ऑल्सो इट विल इम्प्रूव द एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज ओके नो कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन स्लाइड विच इंडियन स्टेट हैज रिसेंटली साइंड मेमरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सेवन रोप वे प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड दिस सेवन रोप वे प्रोजेक्ट वुड बी इंस्टॉल्ड इन कांगड़ा कुल्लू चांबा सिरमौर एंड बिलासपुर इन फाइव ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट असुरगढ़ फोर्टिफाइड सेटलमेंट विच वॉज सीन इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इज लोकेटेड इन विच स्टेट सो इट लाइज इन द स्टेट ऑफ ओडिशा एंड हियर an advanced radio carbon dating technique was conducted recently which global institution is associated with the digital services act which was seen in the news recently this is european union and with this it is to force the big internet companies to act against the disinformation and illegal as well as harmful content obviously to save the fundamental rights of the internet users what is the primary objective of Amrit Sarovar initiative which was seen in the news recently so basic objective of amrit sarovar initiative is rejuvenation of the water bodies okay so under it 75 water bodies will be developed and rejuvenated in each district as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav and india's first amrit sarovar has been completed in rampur gram panchayat patwari in the state of uttar pradesh so 75 ponds in rampur were selected to be developed as amrit sarovar okay india recently signed memorandum of understandings on nuclear energy partnership and the global innovation partnership with which country so we have signed these mous with uk why to counter the increasing influence of china in various region okay so under this india will actually involve the private sector for investment in the indo-pacific region in which of the following states or the union territories the union home ministry recently approved the formation of village defense group this union territory is jammu and kashmir and these village defense groups will be created so that they can respond to the threats in the areas where the local police presence is thin okay and usually it can and usually it consists of 8 to 10 members Now next question what is the name of the 90 day inter ministerial campaign to saturate 75 district with beneficiary schemes of nine central ministries so rural development minister giriraj singh launched azadi se anteyodaya tak yojana which is a 90 day inter ministerial campaign under azadi ka amrit mahotsav so the identified districts are aligned with the birth place of 100 Indian freedom fighters and the campaign aims to saturate 75 district with 17 beneficiary schemes of nine central ministries fine coming to the question slide indian out campaign is associated with which country so this campaign is related to the country maldives and it was initiated by former president abdullah yamin okay and who is now the president of maldives it is ibrahim mohammed sole okay sars campaign which was seen in the news recently is associated with which disease first of all what does sars stands for it is social awareness and action to neutralize pneumonia successfully okay so this campaign is related to the disease pneumonia and recently Karnataka state has implemented it okay who is the chief minister of Karnataka B S Bommai and the governor of Karnataka is Mr Thavarchand Gehlot next is the unbox me campaign which was launched recently is associated with which day so this campaign is related to international transgender day of visibility 
which talks about the rights of the transgender children okay so this campaign actually request or urge the parents to identify the gender of their children as soon as possible what is the name of campaign on 100 days 100 organizations and 100 places recently launched to promote various dimensions of yoga this campaign is yoga mahotsav and when do we observe international day of yoga answer is 21 june what is the main objective of sujlam 2.0 campaign so the main objective of this campaign is the grey water management okay and it works under the ministry of jal shakti next question which country recently announced to withdraw from the united nations world tourism organization so russia has announced that it has decided to withdraw from the spain based united nations world tourism organization ahead of the scheduled vote on their suspension and despite the withdrawal UNWTO made it clear that they will go ahead with the suspension due to the ongoing invasion of Ukraine and the process of excluding Russia from the body will take around 1 year to finish completely fine right? now let's see question slide the european commission has launched proceedings on which country for breaching the rule of law standards so european commission has launched the proceedings on the country hungary for breaching rule of law standard and it could ultimately lead to the partial suspension of support payments to hungary and the formal notice opens a round of discussion and now hungary has 2 months to provide explanation and propose remedy okay so this case marks the first use of the mechanism which allows the european union to take action to protect its budget okay which country recently hanged an indian origin malaysian convicted of drug trafficking so a 34 year old indian origin malaysian who was convicted of smuggling at least 42 grams of heroin into singapore was hanged and the execution was made after multiple legal challenges and appeals on the grounds that he had an intellectual disability failed so in response to the global criticism of their use of death penalty singapore officials defended the decision the death penalty is a deterrent against the drug trafficking which country has detected the first case of h3n8 strain of bird flu in the humans so this strain of bird flu has been detected in humans for the very first time in china's henan province also this type of virus can circulate in the birds in horses and it can also be detected in dogs india has recently opened its new mission in which european country so i think this is a repeated question answer is lithuania okay right. next question which ship building company has developed the indian coast guard ship saksham so indian coast guard has commissioned the saksham which is the fifth coast guard ship in the series of 105 m class offshore petrol vessel okay so this saksham is the fifth and the last offshore petrol vessel designed and developed by goa shipyard limited for the coast guard and it uses totally indigenous steering gear and gearbox which was earlier being imported so gsl is the first dpsu shipyard to formulate and adopt a make in india policy fine now coming to the question slide which space company organized the first ever all private crewed mission to visit the international space station this is axiom space which multinational company has announced to provide grant to protect the mangrove ecosystem in the maharashtra's raigad so now apple will provide the grant to protect the mangroves in the raigad district of maharashtra which company delivered the scorpion class submarine ins vakshir to the indian navy this is mezagon dockyard shipbuilders limited and total six submarines come under this project which are these first is ins kalwari then ins khanderi after that ins kalanch fourth is ins vela fifth is ins vagir which is still under trials and sixth is vakshir which global payments company is associated with the world's first crypto backed payment card this is mastercard racket bank visa healthcare india 
has sold the Dermi Cool brand to which consumer product company? So this has been now sold to Imami. Fine. Next question. Integrated road accident database project has been launched in which state or union territory? So this has been launched in the union territory of Chandigarh and it is an initiative of Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Why? What is the objective? To improve the road safety in the country. Okay. So the centralized accident database allows hosting and accessing all accident related data by various department and stakeholder and the details include for example causes of road accident, then road engineering defaults, negligence of individuals, pattern in accident etc. Right? So this data will be used by all the departments to analyze cause of accident and formulation of a strategy. Okay. Now coming to the question slide, Sere Kul Farosha is a secular festival organized in which state or union territory. So this is a festival belonging to Delhi. Pali, India's first carbon neutral panchayat is situated in which state or union territory. So India's first carbon neutral panchayat has been found in Pali, which lies in the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Also don't forget that Jammu Kashmir is the very first union territory of India to implement the good governance index at district level. Which state or union territory celebrated its first ever beach festival IC Pondi 2022? This is Puducherry. P for Pondi and P for Puducherry. Which is the first state or union territory to include the e-cycles in its electric vehicle policy? This is New Delhi. Which Indian state or union territory has launched a project to set up the hobby hubs in the government school? This is New Delhi and aim is to use the infrastructure of government schools properly and to promote the extra curricular activities among the students. Right? Now as per a recent study, what is the estimated number of deaths among the children and adolescent in 2019? So according to a new series on optimizing child and adolescent health and development published in the Lancet, over 86 lakh deaths among children and adolescent means who are between 0 to 20 years were recorded in 2019 and still births and neonatal death accounted for over half of these deaths while another one third of the deaths occurred in the children between one month and five years of age. So the authors have called on the global leaders and the policy makers to offer comprehensive care. Okay. Now let's see some of the important questions. Which country funds the global consortium for developing a battery passport, which is a common standard for disclosing data on the batteries. This country is Germany. What is the rank of India in the CIPRI data on global military expenditure in 2021? So in this, India has been ranked at third position. And which are the top five countries? First was USA, means it spends the most on its military. And then second is China. Third is obviously India. Fourth is UK and fifth is Russia. As per the official data, which state generated the most biomedical waste per day in 2020? So the most biomedical waste per day was generated in the state of Kerala in the year 2020. Which state government has partnered with Nixi CSC Data Services Center to establish a world-class data center in the state? This is Tripura. As per the recent data from NASA, which major space-faring country has the lowest space debris? This is India. Next question. Which ministry conferred the India Pharma and Indian Medical Devices Award 2022? So the seventh edition of International Conference on Pharma and Medical Devices Sector 2022 was recently held in New Delhi. And the Minister of State of Chemicals and Fertilizers Ministry conferred the India Pharma and India Medical Devices Award 2022 on this occasion. So the Department of Pharmaceutical has announced six main categories of the awards. For example, Leaders Category, Company of the Year, MSME of the Year, then Startups of the Year. After that, one is Innovation Category and last is CSR 
category fine so correct answer would be ministry of chemicals and fertilizer let's see some of the important awards who won the 2022 loreas world sportsman and sportswoman of the year award so sportsman is max verstappen and the sportswoman of the year is elaine thompson hara okay don't forget that italy men's football team is the loreas team of the year for second time and you have to tell me who has been conferred with loreas breakthrough of the year award which states e proposal system has won the champion project award in the united nations wsis prizes 2022 this is the state meghalaya kishor kumar das who has been chosen for commonwealth points of light award is from which country so he belong to the country bangladesh the president of which country has been named as one of the recipients of john f kennedy profile in courage award this country is ukraine and who is the president of ukraine vladimir zelensky who has been conferred the united nations environment program champions of the earth lifetime achievement award answer is attenborough fine alvera brito who passed away recently was a former indian captain of which sport so former indian women's hockey team captain alvera brito has passed away recently due to the age related ailments at the age of 81 years so alvera had also represented india against australia sri lanka and japan and in the year 1965 she became only the second women hockey player to be conferred with the arjuna award and who's the first any lumsden who got this award in the year 1961 fine okay. let's discuss about some of the important sport related current affairs ravi kumar dahia who was seen in the news recently is associated with which sports so he is related to the wrestling arjun halakurki sunil kumar and neeraj who were seen in the news recently are associated with which sports again they are wrestlers ankita rana rutuja bhosle riya bhatia and saujan nibabi sethi are associated with which sports so recently they have backed third place at billy jean king cup 2022 so they are related to tennis sajan prakash and vedant madhavan who were seen in the news recently are associated with which sport so they have clinched silver medal in the men's 1500 meters freestyle event at danish open swimming meet that was held in copenhagen in denmark okay so correct answer would be swimming ministry of youth affairs and sport released this much amount to which institution for elimination of doping in sport answer is unesco next question ministry of information and broadcasting launched azadi ki amrit kahaniyan in association with which ott platform so ministry of information and broadcasting has launched azadi ki amrit kahaniyan short video series that has been created in collaboration with the ott platform netflix and the initiative aims to bring out inspiring stories of indians to motivate people to achieve their goals okay so these videos will be available on various social media channels of the ministry and netflix as well as broadcast across the doordarshan network fine now coming to the question slide which of the following schemes has or have been launched in andhra pradesh to improve the learning outcomes and decrease the dropout rate in school which is this particular scheme answer is mana badi nadu nidu fine which state launched its space tech framework and hosted the launch event on metaverse this is telangana which country launched the zoom z60 communication satellite answer is china nrol85 which was launched recently is an intelligence satellite of which country so this is the satellite of usa okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself 
so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this me nusar sana signing off